What's the first thing that comes to mind when I say Florida vacation? Let me guess, you said Disney or the beach? Both are great options, but neither make the top of my list. You'll have to stay till the end of this video to see what my top recommendation is. Hi, I'm Katie, a freelance travel writer with Travel Lemming. I've lived in Florida for over 25 years and I've explored all over the state. Today, I'm going to share with you my top 12 things to do in Florida. Alligators and panthers and pythons, oh my! Number 12 on our list is the Florida Everglades. Everglades National Park was established in 1947 to protect this unique ecosystem. Animal spotting is one of the top reasons that people visit the Everglades. Whether it's from a bike, a hiking trail, or an airboat, there are plenty of opportunities to see the native wildlife. Now for a truly immersive Everglades experience, sign up for a sluice log or wet hike. Instead of keeping your feet high and dry on the walking trail, get them dirty and wet as a guide takes you through the shallow water. This is the most immersive Everglades experience that you can have. The Everglades is the most famous swamp in Florida, but you can find marshes all over the state, including around Kennedy Space Center on the Atlantic coast. Kennedy Space Center is NASA's primary launch center for space exploration. In addition to the government and private facilities, there is also a visitor complex for guests to learn all about the history of space travel and see where we're headed next. At the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, guests can even see real spacecraft, including Space Shuttle Atlantis. Scan the QR code to purchase tickets or book a tour from Orlando with our affiliate partner, Viator. Moving on to number 10, shark tooth hunting. From the rivers to the beaches, there are tons of places in Florida where you can look for shark teeth. Well, specifically fossilized shark teeth. The teeth found in freshwater rivers and creeks were lost by a shark thousands of years ago when much of modern day Florida was under the ocean. Venice Beach in Southwest Florida is known as the shark tooth capital of the world. This is the best place to comb for shark teeth in the beach sand. Florida does require a permit if you are collecting vertebrate fossils, but shark teeth are specifically exempt. However, if you are searching in a river, make sure you get a permit just in case you find a dugong bone or a mastodon tooth that you'd like to keep. From natural treasures to artistic beauty, let's head south to Miami. In the neighborhood of Wynwood, visitors can find the world famous Wynwood Walls. This art installation opened in 2009 and it is a collection of murals along industrial buildings. Wynwood exploded into an arts and entertainment district after the opening of the walls. Now the murals expand far and wide throughout the neighborhood. Wynwood is just a short drive from downtown Miami and Miami Beach, so it's easy to visit if you're in the city. The walls are just one of the many hip and artistic attractions within Miami. For number eight, let's start with a quick history lesson. Many people often assume that the Cubans living in Florida settled here after the rise of Fidel Castro. But Ybor City, a Cuban community in Tampa, has been around for much longer. In the 1880s, Cuban cigar makers moved their factories from Cuba to Ybor City. Tampa might not have become the large city that it is now if it wasn't for the cigar makers moving into Ybor City. Throughout Ybor City, you'll find historic architecture and street art, making it one of the most beautiful places to stroll around. You can visit an operational cigar factory or the Ybor City State Park Museum. I like to stop at Columbia Restaurant, a Spanish-Cuban restaurant that has been owned and operated by the same family since 1905. Once you've had your fill of history and Cuban food, I bet nothing sounds better than a relaxing day on the beach. Lucky for you, Florida has some of the best beaches in the country and more than 800 miles to choose from. The Panhandle beaches, including Pensacola Beach, 30A, and Panama City Beach are a favorite vacation destination for families and spring breakers. The water is blue, the oysters are local, and there is always a place to find a drink. Along the Atlantic coast, you can find beaches from St. Augustine all the way down to Miami. Of course, you have the famous Daytona Beach and Cocoa Beach, but check out some of the small towns too, like Fernandina Beach, Delray Beach, and Jupiter for a more relaxed atmosphere. My favorite beaches are found along the Gulf Coast. 
from Clearwater down to Sarasota, down to Naples, you will find white sugar, sand, and warm water. No matter where you want to visit in the state, Travel Lemming has tons of guides for your Florida trip. Scan the QR code to check out articles about Miami, Orlando, Tampa, and more. You can plan your entire Florida vacation, including where to stay, what to eat, and things to do. Number six is for my history buffs. St. Augustine, the oldest European city in the United States. The settlement was founded in 1565 by Spain's first governor of Florida, and it served as the capital of Spanish Florida for more than 200 years. But don't worry, there's plenty to do, even for those of us that didn't ace U.S. history in high school. Some of my favorite things to do in St. Augustine are visit the Pirate and Treasure Museum, the Alligator Farm, and the Castillo de San Marcos. Castillo de San Marcos is the oldest masonry fort in the United States. A visit allows you to learn the history of the area and get some gorgeous waterfront views. Plus, it's just a short walk to many restaurants, bars, and coffee shops. If you are going to visit St. Augustine, you can't find a better hotel than Casa Monica. The hotel first opened in 1888. After falling into disrepair, it was refurbished and reopened in 1999. Enjoy this piece of history with luxury modern amenities. Scan the QR code to book your stay at Casa Monica through our affiliate partner, Booking.com. Kennedy Space Center is a destination in its own right, but one of the most awe-inspiring experiences is watching a rocket launch. Luckily, you don't have to be at the Space Center to watch a launch. There are several fantastic viewing locations throughout Merritt Island, Titusville, and Cocoa Beach. Plus, with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin privatizing space travel, there are launches happening pretty frequently at Cape Canaveral. If you plan to visit the Space Coast for a launch, make sure you get there early. Parking lots and green spaces along the roads fill up very early, sometimes days ahead for the bigger launches. I recently took my son to his first rocket launch when the Artemis 1 mission launched in the middle of the night. I can tell you there is no way you will ever forget your first rocket launch. From outer space to Florida waterways, let's move on to number four. Florida waters are one of the few places where you can swim with manatees. In order to safely swim with manatees, you'll need to book a tour in Crystal River. The manatees tend to congregate in the river in winter due to the consistent temperature from the springs. You can book a tour like this one from our affiliate partner Viator that take you straight to the manatees. Once you're in the water, you'll use the provided snorkeling equipment to float and relax while the manatees swim amongst you. And while manatees weigh about 1,000 pounds, you don't have anything to worry about. They're herbivores. They'll be hunting for plants, not humans. No list of things to do in Florida would be complete without the Orlando theme parks. Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando are the largest resorts, each having multiple parks, dining and entertainment options, and multiple hotels. SeaWorld has earned the nickname Capital Coaster of Orlando thanks to all of its thrilling coasters. Families with children should check out Legoland and the new Peppa Pig Park. Now, whichever theme parks you decide to visit, my one piece of advice is to slow down and take it all in. I recommend visiting no more than one park per day. Sure, you might miss out on some rides, but that just gives you a reason to plan another visit. For number two, we're heading to one of my favorite places in Florida, the Natural Springs. There are over 1,000 springs in North and Central Florida. Depending on which spring you visit, you may be able to swim, scuba dive, paddle down the river, or tube down the spring run. Some of my favorite springs are Devil's Den, an underground swimming hole for snorkeling and free diving, De Leon Springs, where a pancake house sits just along the edge of the swimming area, Itchituckney Springs, where you can float for hours down the river, and Madison Blue Spring, which has some of the prettiest water in Florida. The springs that are open to the public are pretty affordable to visit, with most of them costing less than $10 per person. Before we move on to my last recommendation, which is one of the coolest things to do in Florida, do me a favor and hit that like button below. That little bit of love helps get our videos in front of even more eyes. Number one might be the most breathtaking location in the state, the Florida Keys. And I think the best way to see the Florida Keys is to make a road trip of it. 
the famous overseas highway is the only road that connects the Keys to the mainland. Now, if you were to drive straight from Miami to Key West, it would take you about three and a half to four hours. But I recommend taking it slowly, maybe even making a whole week of it. Every island has its own personality and things to do. Some of the top things I recommend are snorkeling or scuba diving at John Penny Camp Coral Reef State Park in Key Largo, grabbing a drink at the Florida Keys Brewing Company in Isla Mirada, touring the Turtle Hospital in Marathon, walking the old railroad bridge in Bahia Honda State Park, visiting the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum and the Ernest Hemingway House in Key West, and finally, eating as much key lime pie as possible. Well, there are my top 12 things to do in Florida. Check out this video next to continue planning your Florida vacation. Thanks for watching.